Hi everyone, my name is B. E. Liang and my matrix number is 200419. Today I want to talk about this one, the Motorola Dynatec cellular telephone. Dynatec is a series of cellular telephone manufactured by Motorola from 1983 to 1994. The Motorola Dynatec 8000X which is the model of this cellular telephone. Uh, it is the commercial portable cellular phone received approval from the US FCC on September 21, 1983. A full charge took roughly 10 hours and it offered 30 minutes of talk time. It also offered an LED display for dialing or recall of one of Thirty phone numbers. It was priced at three thousand nine hundred and ninety five in nineteen eighty four, and it is equivalent to ten thousand four hundred and twenty in twenty twenty one. Dynatec was an abbreviation of Dynamic Adaptive Total Area Coverage, and several model follow starting in nineteen eighty five with the 8000S and continuing with periodic update of increasing frequency until 1993 Classics 2. The Dynatec was replaced in most roles by the much smaller Motorola Microtech when it was first introduced in 1989 and by the time of the Motorola StarTex release in 1996 it was obsolete then uh, this cellular telephone is operated by using the radio telephone system a radio telephone system is a radio communication system for transmission of speed over radio radio telephony means transmission of sound by radio in contrast to radio telegraphy which is transmission of telegraph signal or television transmission of moving pictures and sound. The term may include radio broadcasting system which transmit audio one way to listener but usually refer to two-way radio system for bi-directional people to person-to-person -person wise communication between separate users such as CB radio or marine radio. In spite of name, Radio telephony systems are not necessarily connect to or have anything to do with the telephone network and in some radio service, including GMRS, interconnection is prohibited. So now I want to talk about the features of this uh, radio telephone. The radio telephones may operate at any frequency where they are licensed to do so. Throw, typically, they are used in the various bands between 60 and 900 MHz. They may use simple modulation scheme such as AM or FM, or more complex technical such as a digital coding, spread spectrum, and so on. Licensing terms for a given band will usually specify the type of modulation to be used. For example, airband radio telephones used for air-to-ground communication between pilots and controllers operate in the VHF band from 180 to 136.975 MHz using the amplitude modulation. Radio telephones receiver are usually designed to a very high standard and are usually of the double conversion super head design. Likewise, transmitters are carefully designed to avoid unwanted interference and future power outputs from a few tens of milliwatt to perhaps 50 watts for a mobile unit, up to a couple of hundred watts for a base station. Multiple channels are often provided using a frequency synthesizer. Receiver usually feature a 
switch circuit to cut off the audio output from the receiver when there is no transmission to listen to. This is in contrast to broadcast receiver which often dispense with this. Next, the product accepted by the FCC white as 790 gram and was 25 cm high not including the white antenna. So in addition to the typical 12 key telephone keypad, it had 9 additional spatial keys. Okay, the first one is RCL. RCL is the recall key and then the CRR, this is the clear key and SND is the send key and this one STO is the store key after that FCN is the function key END N key uh, PWR power key and this name menu key and the last one is the volume key but with the removal of analog network cell nearly all over the world the diner tech models running on LMPS or other analog networks are mostly obsolete. Thus, there are more collector's items than usable, than usable telephones. The international series, however, will still work but only on the GSM 900 cells. So, uh, this model, uh, 8000X, is not usable anymore. So I think that's all for me. Thank you.